Hello everyone, in this video I explain experiment number 5, Kirchhoff's first law. First of all, we have to know what is the Kirchhoff's first law. Kirchhoff's first law told us that at any point in the circuit, the sum of currents in equals the sum of currents out. Now we verify this law. Let us restart. That apparatus that we need to verify uh, Kirchhoff's first law, three ammeters, three resistors, we know the value of each one, switch, connecting wires, and the power supply. Let us, we connect that circuit. Okay, so we start from the power supply, so from the power supply, from the positive power supply, to the resistor. Let us repeat this resistor, it is then tighter. And then from that resistor to the first ammeter. From the ammeter, we take one wire and that wire we connect it to two wires. Okay? Because that two resistors will be in parallel. Okay? So two wires. In order, so we connect this one to the first resistor, tight it, and then we connect the second to the second resistor. This is R1, R2, R3. The wire from R2 to A2, and then And then we take one wire from each ammeter. We connect them together because they are in parallel. And then we take one wire to the switch. And then from the switch to the power supply. Now we start to check the connection. So, we check the connection. Okay. So, switch on. Yes, it's working. So, I advise you, when we perform this experiment, we have to check each part of the circuit separately. And then we check all. Now, it's all working. Now, this is R1, this is A1, this is R2, this is R3, this is A3, A2, this is A3. Now, what we do, we start to answer. Close the switch, the switch is closed, okay? Now here, results. We need to register R1, R2, R3. R1, we know it. R1, exactly, it is, okay, it's 4 ohm. R1 is 4 ohm. This is R2, R3. R2, it's 10 ohms, R3, it's 5 ohms. Now, so we register R1, R2, R3. This is R1, R2, R3. Now, we need to measure I1. So, this is I1. So, switch on and take the measurement. So, it is exactly 9.1 dashes. 9.1 dashes. This is I1. I1, it is 0 0.18, 0 0.18. Now, switch on, we take A2. So, A2, it is uh, 4.8 dashes, 4.8. This is I2, it is 0 0.09, 0 0.09, approximately it is 0 0.1 because we are proximated. Now, I3, switch on and take the last reading. This is I3. Here it is uh, six, uh, five, six, seven, seven point eight, seven point eight. So this is I3, it is 0 0.156, 0 0.16. So 0 0.16 ampere. We finish the reading, so switch off and then. How does the current through the three resistors are related together? Now we um, check I1 with I2 and I3. 
I1, it is 0.18. What about I2 plus I3? I2 plus I3 equals 0.26. What about I1? It is 0.18. So I2 plus I3, it's greater than I1. So it's greater than I1. By how much? We say 0.26 divided by 0.18. That is 1.4 times. So how does the current flow, the three resistors are related together? So I2 plus I3 is 1.4 more than I1. What are the sources of error in this experiment? The sources of error, minimum connection of wires. Each wire has own resistance, so this is not only three resistors, but also many other resistors. So also the losing of connections. Parallax error, when we take the reading, it is very small reading for a meter, and we take approximation. What about the conclusion of this experiment? We did this experiment to verify Kirchhoff's first law. At any point in the circuit, the sum of currents in equals the sum of currents out. Of course, we did this. I1, it was 0.18 ampere. I2 plus I3, it was 0.26. So it, was, it is 1.4 more than I1. So I2 plus I3 is 1.4 more than I1. Why it is not exactly the same, like uh, because this is Kirchhoff Ferris law? Because we have many connection of wires, so we have not only three resistors, but also many other resistors. So approximately we verify Kirchhoff's Ferris law. Thank you.